I'm super excited guys. I'm actually super excited. Here we go. The moments everyone has been waiting for have been waiting for guys just occurred. What did you may ask? So red dot alert. Red alert guys. We now see the accumulation phase has ended from plan B. No more easy buying opportunities orderly uh, orderly and slowly increasing markets guys. The bull market has started. No it didn't guys. It started back here at the bottom right now we're slowly heading towards the end phase guys i mean it's not it's not really at the end we're not at the end why because as you guys can see we just got a red dot do you guys see this red dot right previously whenever we seen the red dot guys what happened afterwards a parabola upwards a parabolic move upwards a parabolic move upwards a parabolic move upwards every damn time what does this mean you may be asking in the next few months are we going to see bitcoin just raging and going demonic mode guys right Everyone is still being bearish. How? I don't understand. But all these charts are showing towards the same thing. We're, we are in a bull market, but we called it back here, guys, literally at the bare bottom. Right? This is why you want to get in early and not late. I mean, it's not, we're not really late, guys, because usually we see multiple dots, right? So we're, we're, we should see like this, guys, right? Like that. Um, if this model is correct, but not all models are usually just like um, a path, guys, right? That Bitcoin can take it doesn't need to take it but this is where it gets very fascinating indeed Bitcoin February closing um, the previous month guys Bitcoin closed around 62 uh, 61k for the uh, s2f model value right here stock to flow model okay so check this out here so here's another model for Bitcoin guys and what's really interesting about this you guys can see how there is a prediction made guys right right here guys and how Bitcoin has been following it Right, deviating from above, and then we went below it, guys, over here in, in this bear market. Right, we went way below the model suggested, but now we're heading back above it, guys, right, or soon too, hopefully. If we don't even need to get to what this one one million dollar mark, guys, right, as it, as it shows right there, if even if, if even if Bitcoin goes to around like right here, guys, right, that's like 300k, literally, that's like hundreds of thousands of dollars, right, um. Or like right here, guys, right? Somewhere around there. It, so, so, will it keep going higher and higher and higher, right? That's the thing. A parabola, no one can... A parabola is quite difficult, guys, but not necessarily. Because you could figure out when it does end. But in, 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 in parabolic moves, guys, it goes very fast and very quickly, right? So now it's getting back to the median, guys. Um, since it went below the the, the prediction line, guys, right? Um, the stock to flow mo model... Will it go higher now? I mean, if we did, guys, Bitcoin is about a million dollars. I mean, that's insane to even think about, but I don't know, right? I'm just hoping for 90,000 Bitcoin, right? I'm just hoping for 90K. And the end of this cycle, probably 300K, guys. Why? Let me explain why they would need Bitcoin to be at very high prices. No one else is going to say this, guys, but it's, it's quite easy. They need liquidity, guys. Do people not notice it? Or are people just being naive? I don't know. The only way these people at least can cash out of Bitcoin if there is liquidity. If Bitcoin doesn't pump, there is no liquidity, guys, right? Um, it, the higher Bitcoin goes, more retail will be buying their bags when they're uh, distributing, right? So if Bitcoin goes to like six figures, guys, like multiple, 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 or even a million, that's going to be the best time. Not to mention, that's literally going to be before the collapse, right? Whenever we see Bitcoin raging on, like insanely, guys, it has to be because then they're going to be selling a S ton of their Bitcoins, right, before they collapse it and then buy back in cheaper, very cheap. So I don't know, guys, this is very interesting indeed. Why? Well, the price of gold went up 5x when the, when an ETF was approved, guys. Bitcoin to 300k, no one else called it. Well, exactly. Bitcoin is technically following this um, gold ETF chart, guys, right? So as you guys can see, it got launched there, and then it dumped. We actually talked about how when it does get launched, it may dump and consolidate for a little bit. And guess what happened right after? Bitcoin pumped exactly how gold foretold Bitcoin to do, guys, right? It pumps insanely, guys, and then consolidates, pumps again, and then consolidates a little bit, keeps pumping, guys, right? That's, that's what basically may happen to Bitcoin here, right? And then a parabola is formed again. You guys see how as soon as as soon as gold um, crossed below that parabola, right, broke uh, broke down. That's when you wanted to wanted to get out. Look how he even retested that parabola, guys, right? Gold did, and then look what happened after. 
exactly probably it's the same thing going to happen with Bitcoin guys, right? So let us prepare because if Bitcoin does go to these crazy prices, guys, 300k sounds insane. Um, you're going to be rich. It's that simple, right? Why? Because all coins are going to go ballistic, guys. Not to mention, now Bitcoin can do this as well, though, right? Let's say we go to like 90k. Black Swan arrives, comes back down, and it all go all the way back to 300k, guys. I don't know, right? There could be multiple different scenarios, but I do believe a Black Swan could be entering soon in the next, I don't know, maybe maybe by the middle of this year, spring, uh, summertime, guys, right? Who knows? Um, but a Black Swan is very unpredictable. So you may not even want to think about it, guys, right? Oh, and by the way, you guys are fancy like today's video. I really much appreciate it. Thank you. So there's so much happening. I mean, there is a way for Bitcoin to absolutely just keep on flying, guys, because outflows from exchanges have only ent um, intensified as price increased in February. Why? Supply shock is more likely by the day, guys, right? So, that, so oh, wow, that's fascinating, guys. These these people who, who, who control the markets are, are such geniuses. How? You guys remember? Okay, so, so uh, people are fleeing from exchanges, okay? Meaning they don't want to really sell, guys. Why? They're probably going to cold storages or something, guys, or, or wallets um, outside of exchanges. Now, check this out. Coinbase actually had a catalyst. That was so beautiful for Coinbase to do. Why? Because now people are scared of exchanges. So they're going to flee from it, guys, right? And head towards um, cold wallets and, and whatnot, guys. With now, now that means a supply shock is more likely. There isn't that much supply, but there's so much demand, right? There's so much buying. Why? Because of the institutions. Look at this. This is an incredible uh, visualization of BlackRock eating up all the entire sell side of Bitcoin, right? You guys can see BlackRock battling out with Grayscale, guys. Who wins? BlackRock does, right? Infinite money versus a limited supply to sell of Bitcoin, guys, right? This is insane, guys. It literally looks like a battle, doesn't it? Insane stuff. I can't believe it. So, is, is new all-time highs on the horizon? Nobody knows. But the liquidity shows, guys. Remember, we need Bitcoin to go up. That's what I'm really hoping for and have been hoping for for many, many months on, on, I don't know, guys, right? Why? Because every, every, um, what's it called? Every altcoin will create new all-time highs, including our precious XRP, right? You want to be, and not only that, everyone will become happy, right? No more toxicity. But at that point, when that does occur, guys, that's when you want to be wary and, like, Think about possibly even selling off on each device. I mean, people have been selling already. People, as you guys can see, right? Look at all these sell orders, but the institutions are buying it up. So, the liquidity shows us possibly, yes, we'll see new highs. Why? $2.4 billion worth of shorts will get liquidated if Bitcoin breaks its previous all time high of $69,000. What is this? The market makers' mouths are watering now, right? Because even though even though there's so many longs guys right what is that like 7 billion if uh bitcoin goes back to like what's 55k or so um do they really want to make it go that low though right if people are going to keep buying or will they rather get an easy 2 billion dollars 2.5 billion right here why because it's liquid guys i told you everything's about liquidity right i mean they could they could dump it or they could pump it right um but if we are in that parabola phase, guys, right, parabolic phase, they'll probably never dump it. I mean, okay, if there is a dump, it's going to be like this, guys, right? It's going to be like that, that fast, guys, right? If V-shaped your curve, you're out of there. So they get the they get the longs liquidated and they go back up very quickly, guys, right? Because why? It's free money at the end of the day. But again, 69K, they're eyeing that target, guys, right? They're eyeing that number because there's billions of dollars there. So prepare. I don't even know who shorts at this uh, at, at these market um environment right who even sure that an environment where bitcoin goes parabolic nobody knows i get i guess it's because like your ego guys right it's it's, it's it's a human's ego that like doesn't want to be wrong per se i don't know i don't know i don't know now sellers have been t uh, lighting up order books on coinbase and binance but they are placing asks at seventy thousand dollars to eighty thousand dollars or even higher sellers know we are going much higher right look at that guys they're <laughs> interesting Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, if, 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 they're, if they're placing asks, right, at those prices, what do they know that the public doesn't? Probably Bitcoin goes higher. Very short term, Bitcoin does have a little bit of liquidity at 60K and 65K, guys, right? Nothing too crazy. Um, but the dominance pay, may show us Bitcoin may literally go demonic mode because it's breaking out of this, um, some type of pattern, guys, or consolidation phase, right, towards the upside. 
which means Bitcoin is going to outperform. Alt still, guys, right? I mean, if Bitcoin does rage on, I mean, that's how really Bitcoin goes parabolic, guys, right? Outperform alts, and then once Bitcoin cools off at new all time highs, guys, whenever that may be, alts go overtake Bitcoin. Now, boom, one of the biggest Bitcoin withdrawals from Coinbase on record, $1 billion, guys, right? Exactly. They're leaving exchanges, would you? I mean, at this point, I don't know, maybe they're scared once again, right? But I wouldn't leave my coins on exchanges to say at least not financial advice. Now, it's getting even crazier by the second because $40 trillion wealth on its way and you're still bearish, guys. What is what's happening here? This is ridiculous, guys. Check this out. Whoa, 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 whoa. $40 billion, guys? Or no, $40 trillion. Never mind. Grayscale CEO Michael Sonnenschein joins us here on set of Post 9. He rang the opening bell this morning in celebration of its Bitcoin Trust ETF. Welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. It's, it's wonderful to be here. Why do you think Bitcoin has had such an amazing run here to start the year? Well, a lot of pent-up demand uh, based on the spot Bitcoin ETFs coming to market. Uh, GBTC uplisted in January. Fascinating how people were so bearish back then, but we weren't. Interesting. Right this year, and that really opened the door to a lot of other spot Bitcoin ETFs also coming to market. And so we're seeing tremendous flows, tremendous investor demand, um, and that's really also outpacing the supply of Bitcoin coming into market every day, which is really being additive to price. But aren't you specifically at Grayscale seeing outflows? I've seen recent data. Bloomberg says 7.4 billion of outflows in the last 30 days. Well, I remember some people do want to cash out, guys, because Bitcoin has been moving up. But it's never a bad idea to take profits, right? Right? You're here for profit. So why would if if, if anybody bashes you for taking profits, guys? They have a different strategy, I guess, right? <laughs> Maybe they want to hold it after death or something. I don't know. I think it's important to uh, think about how GBTC came to market. It came to market with almost $30 billion of assets and investors of all shapes and sizes. And so we anticipated some outflows as opposed to some of the new products coming to market starting from zero. Um, I do think, though, if we zoom out and we look at what that investor demand is like, um, we've never seen such insatiable demand for an ETF wrapper providing access to you know a new asset class. like we Look at that, guys. There's so much demand, right? People are still bearish. Flood it, Riddlers. They got to flood it with so much money so it doesn't stop at all like bitcoin isn't stopping it just consolidates pumps guys right and i hope it keeps doing that obviously we're going to see pullbacks um along the way right but it's probably going to be fast and quickly as well not financial advice of anything we have here but i guess the concern for you might be that there are a lot of other options blackrock seeing inflows a lot of your competitors are seeing inflows we just learned this week that some of the big banks like wells fargo and morgan stanley are looking at getting into these products as well yep that as well guys look at these other institutions um jb morgan still has to enter um morgan stanley right Bank of America, let's be realistic now. Come on, right? And then we got other ETFs on the horizon, such as an XRP one, possibly as well. Can't make this stuff up. We're just at the tipping point. I think that you know many of uh, my other colleagues in the industry have called for a new wave of adoption as Bitcoin ETFs become available through advised wealth channels. You know, there's over 40 trillion dollars of advised wealth in the U.S., and they largely have not been participating in Bitcoin or the crypto asset class more broadly. So we do think that you know we're still in the early innings of this. Wow, 40 trillion dollars! Stop it, guys! And this. <laughs> I mean, if they're really talking about making Bitcoin go to like a million at this point, who knows, guys? There's, I can, we we're, it's it's literally impossible to call the top, right? It's literally impossible. But you want to take it take it day by day, right? You want to take it and see how the charts are forming at that point, the macro uh, economy and all that stuff, guys. But what I do know is they're probably going to pump the hell out of Bitcoin, guys, before the actual collapse collapse moment takes place, right? Why to lure everyone in just as, just as they did in 1929 and 2000? Right, 2008, all that stuff. You guys already know the game plan. Only a couple weeks since Bob Bitcoin ETFs came to market. But how do you plan to stay competitive when it's getting so crowded? Well, GBTC has one of the most diverse... There you guys go, right? So it's just, it's getting crazy out here, guys. Now, Bitcoin ETF banner goes up outside the New York Stock Exchange as well. As we can see right here... Um, look at this, guys, right? It just gets crazier and crazier, guys. Everyone will know about cryptos. Remember, we want Bitcoin to go up so else can as well. BlackRock launches spot Bitcoin ETF in Brazil, right? Everyone, they're going to literally onboard everyone, guys, before the the nastiest rituals uh, ritual occurs, right? Before the craziest sacrificial ritual, guys. And then more positive news, even from the presidential candidates. Um, RFK Jr. says uh, transactional freedom is as, as important as freedom of speech, and you only get that from Bitcoin. Wow. Again, the narrative of it's the people's money, guys. I mean, whatever narrative it takes to pump Bitcoin, I don't really care, guys, right? Let us just go higher and pump it for every other crypto out there as well, guys, right? Hopefully soon. Not finish, but let's see what happens. What is this? See ya.